Company's 2015 production of The Nutcracker is all new. All new choreography, all new stars, and an all new artistic director bringing the show to Pope Joy Hall. I've heard the music so much that I really try to close my eyes and envision from the audience standpoint what would they want to see to really hear the music. You know, this part of the music sounds like a snowstorm, you know, and so I have them doing twirls a lot just to really kind of, you know, make a snow scene to the eye. And it's such beautiful music. I, I never get sick of it. It just, it's just awesome. Every time I listen to it, you can always hear something new that you didn't hear before. Natalie Harris has brought that new vision to the Nutcracker, the first concert she's choreographed in her professional career. It's a show that introduced Natalie to the New Mexico Ballet when she was a teen. I um, started dancing with New Mexico Ballet Company when I was 13. I fell in love with watching the Nutcracker with my family as a family tradition. And I went to a charter school and I was like, wow, I really like to dance. And so um, I started taking dance classes. They told me I really needed to do ballet because that was basically the, you know, the main structure for technique. So I started taking ballet classes and then I auditioned for the Nutcracker. Got an understudy role my first year and I was just, so excited to be on stage. Natalie's excellence as a dancer earned her an apprenticeship with Ballet Quad Cities in Rock Island, Illinois. From there, she earned a full scholarship to the prestigious Joffrey Ballet School in New York City. It was a whirlwind experience. Um, spent probably about four years there, and then I ended up getting injured and having to come home. Eventually had surgery and um, did my rehab here back at home. It was closer to family and uh, ended up really taking on to teaching. And then I started coaching for the company again and that led to them asking me to be the artistic director. Her new role as artistic director gives Natalie the opportunity to realize a vision greater than herself, one that she shares with the next generation of dancers. I can ask them pretty much to do anything, and it, it just brings me like such joy to see when it all comes together. Like here in the theater is the best time because we have the live orchestra, we have the sets, we have the beautiful new costumes, and they really, they really start to dance, to really give the full picture, and it's just amazing. It's like, it brings a tear to your eye almost when it just all comes together. But the work isn't without its challenges or fears. It's just a big fear is that it doesn't all come together and it doesn't look lovely to the audience. That was a big fear. Um, a big fear is also losing one of my dancers. Injury is prone to a lot of us and it can happen in an instant. It's a reality Natalie knows all too well. However, as the old saying goes, the show must go on. And for Natalie, the show's just beginning in her new role as artistic director. And the ultimate goal with her debut concert? Joy, happiness, the love of ballet that they, that it brings them, the, you know, the Christmas spirit that they get in to enjoy what I love watching these dancers do. And you could see it all for yourself this weekend at Pope Joy Hall. For more information on the New Mexico Ballet Company's production of The Nutcracker, head over to casa.com.